How you doing? This is Nathaniel Swartz with Swartz Center. Today we want to talk about Simone Biles. Congratulations to Simone Biles. She dominated in her return uh, recently. She had took a break for two years uh, for a mental break, and she also took a break to to get married. So congratulations to Simone Biles. I want to read you an article from uh, CBS Sports to talk about her dominating performance. And after the article, we'll get into uh, should at, should athletes in general take more mental breaks. And also, uh, when we're dealing with a lot of uh, women in sports, should women take a lot? To, should women take breaks to start families, get married, have children, instead of waiting until the end of their uh, sports career to to start a family or have children or or to get married? Uh, so the article again is from CBS for, CBS Sports. Uh, four-time Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles had a dazzling return to gymnastics by dominating at the. Uh, Coral Hydration Classic this past weekend. Biles finished in and won in the individual all-around floor routine, balance, balance team, and vault. She also placed third in uneven bars. Things are looking promising for her, but she is taking it one step at a time and still thinking too much about the 20, and not thinking too much about the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Tears of joy as I make this comeback surrounded by the love you've shown. Thank you for believing in me, Bowles wrote on Instagram. An Instagram post after competing in front of a sold-out arena in Illinois. The 26-year-old is most the most decorated uh, gymnast in U.S. history with a combined total of 32 Olympic and World Championship medals. Bowles, Bowles had not competed since the Tokyo Olympics two years ago when she decided to pull out and take care of her mental health. She announced her return earlier this summer, but although she is back on the floor, Bowles is not rushing anything. We're still in the working steps, she said in an interview at NBC Sports at the Core Hydration Classic when she asked about when uh, when she was asked about Paris. My main goal was this, then the championships, and then after that we'll look onto the worlds, and then we'll see. But so far, it's heading in the right direction, but I still have work to work on myself. I'm still going to do my therapy. I'm going to put myself first. Uh, she is still doing weekly therapy, but so far, everything has fallen into place. And she says she feels good about where she is physically and mentally. Uh, Biles has now qualified for the U.S. Championships taking place. On uh, taking place August 24th through the 27th at SAP Center in California. After that, her next destination is Belgium for the World Gymnastics Championship taking place September 30th through October 8th. So again, congratulations to Simone Biles on her dominating return. She's one of the she is the best gymnast uh, in the world today and one of the best of all time. Definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, but we've all, we've seen a lot of uh, athletes take breaks as far as like mental breaks and. One, another big conversation is NBA players uh, taking rest breaks during the season where they may sit out a game and stuff like that. We've seen older NBA players, uh, you know, kind of criticize this and a lot of fans because, you know, like they say, I paid all this money um, to, for one game to see you play and that, that best player is not playing. Um, mental health is a huge thing uh, for everyone, and especially in the black community. And we know Simone Biles had a rough upbringing. And so sometimes you need to take a break because it can be a lot of pressure um, in, in in these sports, a lot of focus to keep your body toned and keep your body ready and a lot of focus to continue winning. Um, a lot of times we, you know, like we've seen in a documentary with Michael Jordan as far as uh, like the documentary he had on Netflix and how hard it is to be great, how hard it is to have a lot of fans approach you all the time, a lot of people discussing and even though I think the mental break is important, even now today, like with social media, because a lot of times, like even with Michael Jordan, when he was being great, he would read everything that people was talking about him as far as in the newspaper. And uh, we really, social media wasn't that, you know, wasn't big at all like in the 90s. But just imagine to see all these articles talking about you online and then read what people are talking about you on Instagram and Facebook. So it could be a lot harder for athletes now as far as mental health aspects to because, you know, a lot of these athletes, they, you know, even though you would think that a lot of people stay away from reading about certain things, uh, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about these athletes. And we see people like Kevin Durant. He actually responds to a lot of people on Twitter. But, like, going back to a documentary like Michael Jordan, when he was he would tell, uh, like, when the writers were talking about him, that the Cavaliers were going to, in the early 90s, were going to beat the Bulls in five or beat the Bulls in four. And he went up to the people and said, I, I proved you wrong, I proved you wrong, and I'm going to prove you wrong tonight. So just think about 
reading that newspaper and then going online and seeing all the stuff that Michael Jordan and this and that. So Simone Biles dealing with that uh, issue and then with the uh, gymnast doctor that went to jail uh, dealing with those issues uh, and those questions about what she went through with the gymnast coach when she was a child and what he's putting other gymnast girls through uh, through the system and at uh, Michigan State. So it could be a lot. And then going into uh, more, and going back to that, I think more athletes do need to take mental breaks because it, it could be tough working uh, year-round, keeping your body together. We've seen Steph Curry put on uh, public workouts and how hard, hit, how hard he works to be successful. Uh, even though athletes make a lot of money, it, it, it could be mentally and physically tough on their bodies. I'm going to specifically more with women. Uh, I watched some uh, Red Pill uh, stuff about Lolo Jones, who she she uh, decided to remain a virgin and wait till the end of her career to start a family. And she was having some issues to having a baby. So we know as women get older, it's hard for them to have children uh, in their late 30s and 40s. And we've seen some uh, athletes uh, actually take a break to have a baby or take a break to get married. And we saw a track star, she, and I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, uh, she ran at USC, and she took a break to have a baby, and she actually lost her sponsorships, came back, still won gold medals, won in a uh, relay recently uh, in, a, in the last Olympics. But um, I think more women should take breaks uh, to start families uh, and get married. Simone Biles recently got married to her NFL uh, husband, I believe his name is Jonathan Owens, and I think more women should take this instead of waiting to the end of the career and then dealing with that more. So, of course, if they don't want to uh, have children or, or get married, then that's fine. But if, for a lot of those female athletes, even the best ones, if, they, if their goal is to be married, their goal is to uh, start a family, I think that more uh, female athletes should take breaks. And we saw another uh, female athlete who played with the uh, Minnesota Lynx. Uh, she helped to get a young man out of prison. And then after the young man got out of prison, uh, she took, I believe she retired from the WNBA, took a break from the WNBA and ended up marrying a man that she helped get out of prison. And I'm sorry, I can't remember these names at the moment, but, um, a lot of time, you know, your, your happiness is, is, is what's important and what you feel is very happy to you. And we even seen LeBron James move to LA because that's something that his family wanted and stay with the Lakers instead of being in Cleveland. So these athletes, like I said, a lot of times we want to prove it. And and uh and for the fans want to do a lot. The athletes want to do a lot for the fans to make the fans happy. But at the end, I'll be all like Simone Biles said. You got to put yourself first and do what's good for you. So to answer both questions, I believe athletes should take more mental breaks, both mentally and physically. And even though it's not, it's frowned upon with a lot of the basketball players or football players taking these breaks during the season. A lot of these athletes deal with so many injuries and so many, like I said, mental things. Uh, it could be hard reading all that stuff about you on social media. And uh, to answer the question, I feel, yes, I feel like a lot more female athletes should take breaks away from the sport to get married and to start to start families and then come back and dominate again, just like Simone Biles did, just like the track star did. And uh, I, I, I think it's just a great story. And I'm so happy for Simone Biles. I hope she continues to win. And I hope she does go to the Olympics in Paris. Again, this is Nathaniel Social Swope Center signing out. And you all have a good one.